Antoinette Councillor Laura represented herself this morning before the Boston Ballot Law Commission, and several objectors were claiming that Laura had not submitted sufficient evidence that she actually lives in the district that she represents. But ultimately, the commission ruled that the objectors were the ones that did not provide sufficient evidence. I state your name. When Mayor Michelle Wu administered the oath of office to the city council on January 3rd, 2022, Kendra Laura and her fellow councilors solemnly swore. All the duties incumbent on me as a member of the city council of the city of Boston. Now, though, the question is, is Laura eligible to run for re-election to continue to serve on the city council? Kendra Laura. A hearing this morning before the Boston Ballot Law Commission focused on whether Laura even resides among the constituents she represents in District 6. After reviewing the evidence, the commission ruled that the citizens who objected to her eligibility did not meet their burden of proof. The commission ruled in favor of Laura. If you look at her record, you look at the recent controversy, I think anybody would have doubts about whether she's telling the truth or not. Today's hearing follows an arraignment last month in criminal court following a crash in Jamaica Plain. Laura is accused of driving without a license in an unregistered, uninsured car. I think that obviously the timing just a few weeks before an election and giving everything else that's going on um, feels politically motivated. Uh, I am obviously happy to answer any questions, showed up to the court, um, provided evidence of where I live, and I think that I have proved um, that I live not only in my district, but at the address that I've stated in all of my paperwork. As Councillor Laura mentioned, an election is coming up. The preliminary here in Boston is next month, and of course the general is in November. And city rules stipulate that in order to be eligible to run, a district city councillor candidate must have lived in the district for at least one year. Reporting live in Boston, Todd Kiskevich, WCVB News Center 5.